Capitulum duodecimum, miles Romanus. Lexio prima, versus primus, usque adversum tricesimum quintum. Quintus est frater Marci. Quintus is the brother of Marcus. Julia soror eius est. Julia is his sister. Marcus et Quintus fratres Iuliae sunt. Marcus and Quintus are the brothers of Julia. Marcus, patrem et matrem, fratrem et sororem habet. Marcus has a father and a mother, a brother and a sister. Nomen patris est Iulius, matris Emilia. Quintus est nomen fratris, Iulia sororis. The name of his father is Julius, of his mother, Emilia. Quintus is the name of his brother, Julia of his sister. Marco una soror est. Marcus has one sister. Iuliae duo fratres sunt. Julia has two brothers. Nomina fratrum sunt Marcus et Quintus. The names of her brothers are Marcus and Quintus. Patri et matri, una filia et duo filii sunt. The father and the mother have one daughter and two sons. Matri Emilia nomen est. The mother's name is Emilia. Quod nomen est patri. The father's name is what? Ei nomen est Lucius Iulius Balbus. His name is Lucius Iulius Balbus. Viro Romano tria nomina sunt. A Roman man has three names. Lucius as prenomen. It is nomen primum, a balbus cognomen est. Lucius is his first name, that is, the first name, balbus cognomen est. Balbus is his cognomen. Filiis nomina sunt Marcus Iulius Balbus et Quintus Iulius Balbus. Gaius Iulius Caesar. Names revealed much about a person's place in Roman society. Caesar possessed the full tria nomina, or three names of a Roman citizen. The first name, prenomen, served much the same purpose as its modern equivalent, identifying the individual member of a family and being used in informal conversation. Most families employed the same first names for their sons, generation after generation. Caesar's father and grandfather were both also named Gaius, as presumably had been many more first sons of this line of Iulii Caesares. The second, or main name, Nomen, was most important, for it was the name of the clan or broad group of families to which a man belonged. The third name, cognomen, specified the particular branch of this wider grouping, although not all families, even amongst the aristocracy, were distinguished in this way. Caesar's great rival, Gnaeus Pompey, 
and his own lieutenant, Mark Antony, both belonged to families who did not possess cognomina. As a boy, he received the full three names, but had he been born a girl, he would have been known only by the feminine form of the nomen. Caesar's aunt, sisters, and daughter were all called simply Julia, as indeed was any female member of any branch of the Julian clan. If a family had more than one daughter, in official contexts, their name was followed by a number to distinguish them. Adrian Goldsworthy, Caesar, Life of a Colossus, Yale University Press, 2008. Marcus et Quintus prenomina sunt filiorum. Marcus and Quintus are the first names of the sons. Alia prenomina Latina sunt Aulus, Decimus, Gaius, Publius, Sextus, Titus. Other Latin first names are Aulus, Decimus, Gaius, Publius, Sextus, and Titus. And indeed, there are many more Roman prenomina from Gildersleeve's Latin grammar. The Roman usually had three names, a nomen, indicating the gens, a cognomen, indicating the familia in the gens, and the prenomen, indicating the individual in the familia. The nomina all end in eus. The cognomina have various forms in accordance with their derivation. The prenomina are as follows with their abbreviations. Aulus, Apius, Gaius. Notice that the abbreviation is the letter Ch. Gnaeus. Notice that the abbreviations are the letters Ch N. Decimus, Queso, Lucius, Marcus, Manius, Mamercus, Numerius, Publius, Quintus, Servius, Sextus, Spurius, Titus, Tiberius. Note number two. Daughters had no particular, daughters had no peculiar prenomina, but were called by the name of the gens in which they were born. If there were two, they were distinguished as maior, exempli gratia, Julia maior, and Julia minor, if more than two, by the numerals tertia, quarta, Julia prima, Julia secunda, Julia tertia, Julia quarta. Emilie est unas frater, qui Emilius nomen est, prenomen publius, cognomen paulus. Emilia has one brother, whose name is Emilius. <coughs> His first name is Publius. His cognomen is Paulus. Frater Emilie est avunculus liberorum. Emilia's brother is the uncle of the children. Emilius autem procul a sorore abest. Emilius, however, is far away from his sister. Itaque tristis est Emilia, que fratrem suum amat. So Emilia, who loves her brother, is sad. Marcus ad Iulia matrem suum suam tristem in hortum exire vident, et patrem interrogant, quod mater nostra tristis est, Marcus and Julia, see that their sad mother goes out into the garden, and they ask their father, why is our mother sad? Mater vesta tristis est, quod Emilius procolab ea abest, your mother is sad because Emilius is far away from her. Emilius avunculus vester est, it est frater matris. Emilia is your uncle, that is, the brother of your mother. 
Mater tristis est, quod fratrem sum videre non potest. Your mother is sad because she cannot see her brother. Ubi est of unculus noster? Where is our uncle? Avunculus vester est in Germania. Emilius miles est. In Germania multisunt milites Romani. Your uncle is in Germany. Emilius is a soldier. There are many Roman soldiers in Germany. Quid est miles? What is a soldier? Miles est vir qui scutum et gladium et pilum fert. Scutum et gladius et pilum sunt arma militis Romani. Miles est vir armatus. A soldier is a man who carries a shield and a sword and a spear. The shield and the sword and the spear are the weapons of a Roman soldier. A soldier is an armed man.